Hey folks, uh, this is Mark at Copters, Callers, and Planes, RC, Pacific Northwest. Thank you very much for uh, visiting my channel. I appreciate it. Well, this is part two of my uh, current project, which is a scratch build uh, early to mid 50s travel trailer uh, project that I'm building. Uh, it'll be vintage uh, replica inspired by a a photograph that I got offline. If you go to my first video about this project, you can see that uh, thumbnail photo that'll show you what, what, what I'm using as inspiration for this here. I've got the same lines going on. Uh, see how things lean forward on the front and the back? Well, that's how the trailer, that's how the real trailer is. You can see what the line, you can kind of get an idea. This is the back here. That's the back there. So you can get an idea of what the lines are going to be like. And uh, then there's the front. See that? Now, very interesting, challenging, and fun project. Uh, underneath here is a framework of big, uh, what's about half inch by half inch or so, square balsa. Uh, that forms part of the chassis. This is basswood. These planks here are basswood. Okay, now this is very, very, very thin balsa. Now, to get this, one of the most challenging things was, in order to get this to look right, you got to have these nice curves. You can't have it boxy looking. These, uh, these 50s uh, travel trailers are, are, are curvy. So I found that if I took a wood dowel, it's about, uh, uh, what, uh, it's about this wide. I thought if I took a wood dowel and rolled, before I installed this piece here, uh, I rolled the upper part here, rolled it and rolled it and rolled it against the dowel until it really started forming the curve and holding the curve. Okay, and then once I got it as curvy as I could, I then clamped it in place uh, overnight, uh, much like you see it now, to the curvature that I wanted, so that when it came time to actually glue this uh, together to the rest of the trailer, I had that curvature I wanted. So you can see we got some serious, look at that, that's, uh, that's not easy to do, but this, obviously I'm, obviously I'm doing the bending uh, along the grain, see? So that was uh, interesting, and each of these, uh, the front and the back is two pieces. There, you can't get balsa big enough to make one piece. So I, I laminated these together, top and bottom. This is a strengthening thing and also a trim thing. Now when I paint this, all this here will be uh, painted in, a, in a, an accent trim color, right? Um, so there you go. Just looking in the back window. <laughs> Look in the back window, folks. I'm working on this right now. Uh, because, you know, what else have I got to do? Alright, so there it is. Uh, so the lines are pretty, pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Look at the thumbnail photo, like I said. Now, my next move is, uh, uh, next move is I'm going to do the far wall over here. Okay, and that's going to have a wind, let's see, that's where the door is, over here. Over here, I'm going to do this far wall here. That's going to have the, uh, one door and, uh, and some windows. I'll do that next. Then I'll do this side here, which will have no door, but it will have windows, right? And then, once I do that, and I'll do it just like what I got going on here, and once I do that, then I'm going to make uh, leave the top open. The top's going to have a removable lid, right? I'm going to have a lid, a, a roof. The roof is just going to set down in here and be held in place with Velcro. And then, it, any, then to work on the interior, first I'm going to complete the exterior, then to work on the interior, uh, or to uh, add things, I just lift off, lift off the ceiling, the roof, and I can gain access this way. Okay, and I'm gonna have it so the door opens and whatnot. So that's where we are, folks, on this project. I think it's coming along really, really well. I'm really excited about it. So uh, there you go. I'm into this project for 85 bucks so far for materials, folks. But a lot of those materials I can uh, also use for a lot of more future projects. So there we are, folks, with my travel trailer project uh, going really nicely. All right? All right. Stay tuned for part three. Actually, I'm going to uh, pause the camera for a minute. I'm going to throw the first uh, light coat of, of paint on this that I'm going to use along with other accent colors. So hold on. I'll be right back, and you'll see some color on this baby. All right. Hold on. All right, folks. Back again. There's my... Uh, my 50s vintage trailer uh, scale model, scale up to point, and I put some of my own ideas in there. But there she is with her first coat of green paint on her. Yeah, so I'll give you an idea. It's still drying, so it looks a little splotchy. 
It's only the first coat too, but uh, yeah. So there you go. Okay, there's going to be some chrome trim on here. Again, this is the back of the trailer, the back window. And there's going to be some chrome trim that goes along either side of the window here. It's going to go along the sides and so on and so on. Without the sides, it's a little hard to imagine, uh, you know, this fully. But uh, trust me, we've got the right lines going on here, which is pretty great. Pretty exciting. Here. Okay then, there we are. That's my project. Building a scale travel trailer, scratch build, and uh, she'll be pretty scale looking except for uh, she's gonna have off-road tires and suspension. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. This is Mark at Copters, Colors, and Planes RC Pacific Northwest. Stay tuned for more about this project. Bye bye now.